why not inject a little bit of colour into your life with this fantastic rainbow cake? Ooh, look at that. Very easy to make. You just need a little bit of patience and lots of food colouring. Starting with our basic vanilla cake and then layering it up with buttercream icing. You'll have to get several cakes here and colour each one with different food colouring. Slice them up and you could layer them as you like with whatever colours you like with buttercream icing in between each layer. We're using plain white buttercream icing because it looks great between the bright coloured layers. Piping it on with ease. Use your favourite colours, alternate two colours if you like. We're going for a different colour for each layer because it looks amazing. A little bit more effort required, but it really does look good. So we're now piping on more buttercream icing to cover the entire outside of the cake, smoothing it over. You can use a spinning plate if you want to make it easier to do that. Also smoothing out the top area. Ready to decorate. Use a round cookie cutter to make an indent of a circle. And then using food piping bags, we're going to just pipe on buttercream icing of varying colours over half of that circle to make a rainbow. Using that indent made with a cookie cutter just helps you to keep a nice neat semicircle shape, but you don't have to use it. It also helps you to mark out where you want to put your rainbows. And what do we find at the end of our rainbows? Marshmallows, of course. And if you don't want marshmallows, you could use other things. You could use jelly beans, Smarties, take your pick. And then for finishing touches, some buttercream icing on top. Rainbow buttercream icing splodged on top with a pile of marshmallows in the middle. Slice it up and there you have it. An absolutely perfect rainbow cake. Delicious. Thinking about what to make for your honey bunny? How about a honey cup cake? Brilliant! All you need is some melted white chocolate and then add in a few drops of food colouring. Mix it all up and what we're going to do is spread this out over some bubble wrap. Yes, you heard right. Bubble wrap has other uses, you know, other than therapeutic ones. We're going to spread it out and then let it chill and set in the fridge. The great thing is once this has set, you're going to get this gorgeous kind of honeycomb effect. Turn it over, gently and carefully peel off the bubble wrap and then we're going to just start chopping it up into our long triangles or any shape you desire really. We're going to decorate our cupcake with these. Get your basic cupcake first and then pipe some buttercream icing on top. Stick in your honeycomb white chocolate decoration. And a few fondant flowers. And why not a honeybee? Fondant icing is great for making these cute little animals and decorations. And a little drizzle of honey for a finishing touch. And there you have it. It is so cute. I think this would be absolutely delightful. I could even go so far as to say it is beautiful. Why not have a crack at this very cool looking piece of art? I mean cake. Start with some white chocolate buttons and melt them. Add yellow food colouring and give it a stir. We are going to spoon that onto some baking paper, making our leaf-like shapes. How artistic is that? Chill that, let it set, and then carefully peel them off. Get your vanilla cake pre-made or bought from the store and layer it with buttercream icing. Nice thick layers. Let's do three layers and coat the entire outside with more buttercream icing. Use a spinning plate to make it easier and a food piping bag and then just smooth it all out. Creating a nice smooth surface 
ready to decorate with your set white chocolate pieces. Stick them on as you wish, creating a feather-like pattern. As you can see, we've done the same as we did with the yellow food colouring with all different colours, melting that white chocolate, colouring it as desired, letting it set, and then here you go, you can make a masterpiece. Very little effort involved. Stick on a few macarons. These multicolours look absolutely fantastic and vibrant against the white buttercream icing. Can you believe how easy that was? Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious too. Oh, which bit shall I eat first? Fancy trying something a bit different? Then why not try Nyam Nyam's rock candy cake decoration hack? It looks really interesting, doesn't it? You start by melting some rock candy in a little bit of water, heating gently on the stove. Give it a stir until all the rock candy has melted and you've got a kind of paste. Add your blue food colouring. Then we pour that out onto some baking paper. And we leave that to set. Smash it out with your fist, that's the fun part. Next, get your vanilla cake and start layering it with blue buttercream icing. Of course, if you have a favourite colour, you can change it. How about purple? Smooth that over so there's no excess sticking out. And then cover the outside with pink buttercream icing. Blue, purple and pink. This is our main colour combination, but you can use your favourite colours, whatever you like. Once that is all nicely smoothed over, we can add on some decoration. We're using more buttercream icing, purple and blue, to just add dashes of it around the outside like so. Now smooth that over, removing the excess, and you create a kind of marble effect. Start sticking on your rock candy, using these blue pebble-like shapes, all the way from the bottom to the top, up the side, and along the top, creating a kind of rock candy waterfall. And then add in your larger shards. It looks kind of like glass or ice. If you have a child that loves the movie Frozen, you could try something like this. It does look like ice, so you could stick to a blue icy effect and it would look fantastic. I'm sure Elsa would just love to be there too. A fantastic work of art, which I'm sure tastes fantastic too. Wow. Why not try it? Go on. A beautiful looking galaxy Swiss roll cake is surely irresistible. Yam Yam brings to you a step by step process of how to bake this wonderful cake. For this, we need only a few ingredients like icing sugar, egg whites, flour, oil, and some food colours. So, let's get started. First of all, to sprinkle a little icing sugar on some baking paper in a baking tray, then whisk up 200 grams of egg whites in a bowl. Sift in 100 grams of plain white flour and 100 grams of sugar with 30 millilitres of vegetable oil. Stir that all up and spoon it into three separate bowls. Ready to add your food colouring starting with purple, then blue and light blue. All the galactic colours. Spoon those onto your baking tray mixing up the colours, layering it to create a kind of marbled effect. Let it look messy, like a splash art painting. 
You're going to bake that in the oven and add your buttercream. Ready to roll. Into your Swiss roll shape. Nice and easy, does it? Another sprinkle of icing sugar. Slice your portion. And there you have it. Gorgeous Galaxy Swiss Roll. These are some stunning designs. Let's start with a simple pre-made vanilla cake. You can get them from most good supermarkets and bakeries. Set out the cake and carefully begin to remove any excess frosting. We're trying to get a nice, even, smooth surface to work with. It's already tasty as it is, but we're going to add some extra style. You can use a spatula or a large knife to even out all the surfaces. Pretty smooth. Once you're happy that the cake is neat, flat and ready to work with, then you're ready to move on to the next step. Set the cake aside so that you have some more space that you can use to work. Now take three pieces of fondant, white, light pink and bright pink, and roll them out flat to about one centimetre thick each. Sprinkle them with flour before you do to stop them sticking, and try to have equal amounts of each colour. Once they're rolled, use a heart-shaped cutting tool to remove heart-shaped segments from the fondant. Make sure you're careful in cutting these out to get the shapes exactly right. Then you can begin carefully removing the shapes and scattering them around the sides of the cake to create a lovely collage of hearts all around the cake itself. Try to space them out equally, as this will create the best surrounding for the cake design. This is a really cool and sweet design, pardon the joke, to make for someone. You can even add a fondant heart on top with a special message of your choice. Like so. Perfect for that special someone. What a great way to show it's been made with love. And it's delicious too, with that ever popular vanilla cake base. The important thing is you need to remember to share the cake. Perfect. On to our next suggestion, let's start with another delicious vanilla cake. Now start placing strips of icing sugar around the sides of the cake at regular intervals. They need to look like flower stalks, like making an edible garden. Pipe some tasty buttercream icing at the top of each strip to create beautiful flowers. You can use all your favourite colours. We've used yellow, blue and pink, but you can choose your favourite colours if you like. Make sure to be very delicate to make the flowers as pretty as you can. As an extra special detail, you can use green icing to create the leaves of the flowers. And as you can see, the leaves add some extra style to this design. You can get creative with the size and the design of the flowers, using as many different colours as you like. Perhaps even add a message on top. Now all that's left is for you to take a slice and enjoy. And now number three, start with the base vanilla cake and take a few cut down straws. Place them into the top of your cake like struts. Then on top you just place another vanilla cake. Scrape off the excess frosting for a nice, even, smooth surface to work on, as with our other suggestions. Maybe put it all into a bowl and keep it on the side for a little treat later. Hmm, sounds good. Next we're going to work with one of my favourite ingredients, melted white chocolate with added pink food dye. Spread it thinly onto a cutting board, let it cool and become solid, then use those heart-shaped stamps again to cut as many hearts as you can from the chocolate. When you've made as many cutouts as you can, carefully use a knife or a sharp spatula to remove the hearts from the board, like so, and you can slot these onto the soft frosting around the cake in whatever pattern you like. Repeat the steps with red and white coloured chocolate for a great pattern. Add little gems of piped icing sugar for a delicious finishing touch. When all that is done, you can grab a slice for yourself and for someone special, and sit back and enjoy all your hard work. This is a great idea as a romantic personal gift for someone you love. Why not take some pictures and let us know how your decorations turned out? Enjoy! Fancy yourself as a bit of an artist? Well then, this one is for you. All you need is 13 grams of sugar, 15 grams of agar powder mixed with 500 millilitres of water. Heat them on the stove, stirring all the while. Once it starts bubbling, you can take it off the heat. Now we're going to cool it down in a bowl of ice water, stirring it to help the cooling process. Now that can go into our moulds. We're just going to fill them halfway because we're going to add a carnation in each one. 
and fill the rest up with your agar. And that's going to be chilled. Once it's ready, we turn it upside down, add a drizzle of brown sugar sauce, and there you have it. Too good to eat. Now, we're going to add strawberries to the next one. Again, pouring our clear jelly mixture on top. Those are going to be chilled. Strawberry-licious. Add a little bit of sauce on top and you can experiment with different fruits. Now, we're going to add a little bit of agar mixture and we're going to chill it when it's just half full. Meanwhile, adding agar into two separate jugs, adding some silver powder into each. Red food colouring goes into one and purple food colouring in the other. Mix them up. We're going to prick out any bubbles from our agar jelly that's already been set and pour our sparkly purple and silver mixtures on top to create a swirling pattern. Chill it and there you have a galaxy jelly. Now add 13 grams of sugar with your 15 grams of agar powder with 450 millilitres of water, heating it all the while. Add 50 millilitres of butterfly pea to give it a beautiful blue colour and a squeeze of lemon. Whisk it once again. Once dissolved, that's going to go into our mould, filling it all the way to the top this time. You can really be creative with these designs. We're going to chill this until it's set. And it's ready. Look at that. Jelly-tastic. 